Okay, every guys, we are gonna be ranking all of the fast food I possibly could have done here. This is a pretty definitive list here. I'm very proud of it. I have not ate every single fast food in the world here, but this is pretty damn close to a lot of them. The tier list goes from bussin', A, B, C, trash, and insufficient data, meaning that I have not been there. Okay, are you guys ready? You guys ready to see what's bussin'? Someone just said Burger King is S tier. Can we roast him? Ivory, you're getting a free roast. Burger King's S tier? Get the out of my chat with that. Cannot believe you just said that. Anyway, let's uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. A and W. A and W is like kind of meh. I'm gonna put A and W in like C tier. I feel like it's always at a gas station. Like I don't feel like A and W has its own place except for like a gas station spot. And whenever I go there, I get like a hot dog or like they have some fries and stuff. I don't think I've gotten a full meal there. And if I did, it's so forgettable. Ain't nobody's favorite place A and W. Let's be real here. Arby's. People give Arby's a lot of crap like people are roast arby's so much i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm gonna have to agree with everybody arby's is trash why why does arby's exist still man <sighs> just the thought of arby's right now is grossing me out man because it's like weird sandwich beef thing can't even tell you what type of meat it is but it's not a burger i went there one time and i remember just being miserable i was like the food tasted like cafeteria food but like not even that like that's giving cafeteria food a bad name when reality cafeteria food can be busting in its own way you know i'm definitely gonna keep it in trash okay baja fresh baja fresh is b tier it's like pretty mediocre mexican food but if it's like one of the only options i got say it was like a baja fresh versus a couple of these trash tier ones and some of the c tier ones i definitely think baja fresh does the job quite well it's nowhere near great especially like i think i'm very biased obviously i'm, I'm you know mexican american over here so i uh, take my mexican food quite seriously and baja fresh doesn't do justice i think that's fair then we got burger king i'm putting burger king in the trash tier that's not giving burger king credit i'll put it at the bottom of seats here i just can't justify going to burger king over any other popular fast food chain man burger king is just worse than mcdonald's it's worse than in and out it's worse than five guys it's worse than like every burger place out there like i had a the other day the whole burger just fell apart like in my hands it was like the worst feeling the fries are okay the chicken fries are kind of good so that's why it's not in trash tier like nobody loves burger king like that and if you do your fake or your iron man from iron man one when he's like i wanted a burger and then they get him burger king which is clearly like an advertisement there's no way that you're just getting a burger from burger king first thing you do after you get attacked by terrorists especially from if you're from california like tony stark you're gonna get an in and out burger let's just be real anyway sorry about that a lot of hate was just thrown blade this pizza is really good. I had it last week and it was so good. They even got like cauliflower crust. They got like so many options. I put broccoli on pizza. I'm built different. Somewhere between A and Bussin, honestly, man. It's bussin. I think Blaze Pizza is pretty bussin, guys. Like, those build your own pizza places are sick, man. I think those places all have a special place in my heart because those are the best type of pizzas, in my opinion. I know that's a strong take, and it's only as good as you make it. You can put whatever the hell you want on it. Like, I put pepperoncinis. I put, like, bell peppers on top of it. I put pepperoni and, like, extra cheese and stuff. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing, dude. Anyway, Blaze Pizza, if you haven't had it, it's pretty good. Bojangles? I'm sorry. I've never been to a Bojangles. Please forgive me, everybody. All the Bojangles. Jangle fans out there. I hope you can forgive me. I'm a good person. I promise. Boston Market. I've seen it. I just never physically went inside. Sorry to all you Boston market fans out there uh next up we got raisin canes i'm putting it at the top of bus and immediately i love raisin canes fun fact about raisin canes it is the fastest growing fast food chain in the world with over 2,000 chains being made during the time of covid like when covid started to like now that might be an extreme number but it definitely was a big number and it is the fastest growing chain ever let me explain what raisin canes is it is literally just chicken fingers but it's like super fast the people that work there are as nice if not nicer than chick-fil-a people the prices are are really good the fries they're crinkly they're simple the sauce so good i love it they just sell chicken fingers okay it's bussin go there if you haven't carl's jr's b tier that's probably higher than baja fresh my only real experience with it i was in boy scouts among other things. And one of the ways that we would fundraise was that you'd get these huge, thick coupon books for Carl's Jr. that we would sell. And my parents would buy some off of me. So that was one of the only reasons why we would go to Carl's Jr. Because we would get a couple like buy one, get one free burgers or buy a burger, get free fries, etc., etc. Like that was the vibe. And I would go there and every time I had Carl's Jr., it wasn't mind blowing or anything, but it wasn't bad. I think B is fair for Carl's Jr. Charlie's Philly Steaks is like top of C 
seats here. I bought it the other day. It's a little too pricey. And it wasn't that good. I'm just going to be real with you. C tier. Sorry. I've never been to Checkers. I'm not even going to explain it. Chick-fil-A is the top of A tier. I think Chick-fil-A gets a little too much credit when Raising Cane's exists, okay? If I had a choice between Raising Cane's and Chick-fil-A, Raising Cane's all day. However, I love Chick-fil-A's waffle cut fries. I love Chick-fil-A's spicy chicken sandwiches. I hate that they're closed on Sunday. I feel like I crave Chick-fil-A the most on Sundays too. Yeah, A tier. I don't think it's bussing. Chipotle's bussing. I'm gonna put above Cane's too. Chipotle is one of the best versions of Mexican food out there. What I like to call Chipotle is an interpretation of Mexican food. And they made it quite different and quite delicious. I personally love the bowls. Some people get burritos. I think getting a burrito at Chipotle is blasphemous because it just falls apart and it's kind of dumb. Like you don't need to do that to yourself. I think their meats are good. The rice is good. The, the cilantro rice is amazing. The sauces are, are solid. The pico de gallo they have is good. I love it. Absolutely bussin'. Church's chicken. It's like B tier. Below Carl's. It's like a worse Popeye's cookout. I have never heard of cookout. It looks cool though. Alv? Valve? Dodgers? What is this one? Insufficient data. Del Taco. Oh man, Del Taco, more like Del Trasho, am I right? The worst of the fake taco chains by far. I don't think Del Taco's worth your time, man. Taco Bell just does everything Del Taco does better in every single way. Free Shivakadu is not enough to save it. Dairy Queen, ah, uh, C tier. I think Dairy Queen is fine. No one goes there for the food. Everyone goes there for the shakes and I'm not a shake guy, so C tier. Food's fine. Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. I'm putting this and beats here. The coffee's good. Their donuts, amazing. I actually got breakfast there the other day. I was pretty happy with it. But their donuts, the donuts are good. I like Duncan. Duncan's B. Earl of Sandwich. I've actually been there once. Twice now, actually. It's overpriced, decent sandwich spot. It's like Jersey Mike's, but worse. It's like Subway, but better. So B tier is fair for it. Firehouse Subs is nobody's favorite sub place. Bottom of C tier. I went in there kind of excited. Came out pretty disappointed. I don't know, man. I just, the vibe I got from Firehouse Subs was like, this sub is going to be like the best quality deli thing you ever had in the world. Turns out it's just the worst Subway. Five Guys is like, is overrated. People put it in the bus in tier all the time. And I'm like, I had it the other day. And I was like, this burger was so mid, dude. Such a mid burger. The fries are amazing. But the burger itself was just like this thick, messy, wasn't delicious. It's also so expensive. For being fast food, it's like twice the price of In-N-Out, twice the price of McDonald's, which is like fine. If you can justify your price being twice, it better be delicious, right? But it's not. It's like very okay. Uh, don't take me there, dude. Hardee's is just Carl's Jr. So I'm just going to put it next to Carl's. But fun fact, Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are the same thing. Hardee's is for the mid west slash east coast ish and carl's is for the coast coasts in and out is the top of bus and nothing's gonna top it over i am biased of course because i'm from california let me just explain to you why in and out is the greatest thing in the entire world one the price is unbeatable in and out is actually cheaper than mcdonald's yeah two the burger quality is scrumptious it's amazing the thousand island sauce with the spread i'm sorry incredible let me tell you my order okay i get Double double. I get whole grilled onions, which is essentially uh, a sliced grilled onion. I add pickles. I add chopped chilies, which is those yellow peppers you can get on the side and they like you bite it and like it squirts in your eye. I get the buns extra toasted so that the burger maintains its longevity. You get the fries well done. So the fries are a little bit crispier. Mmm, so good. And if I'm going crazy, I'll get animal style fries. If I'm going crazy. And that is one of the few times that I might get a shake. Uh, yeah, In and Out is absolutely bussin', baby. Okay. Jack in the Box makes great commercials and makes mid burgers. Jack in the Box is below five, guys. It's good prices. Their tacos, surprisingly, are pretty good. The curly fries are actually pretty good. Their sourdough Jack is pretty damn good. I won't lie about that. Yeah, I think B for Box is fair for Jack in the Box. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Jersey Mike's has snuck up and has taken a solid place in my heart. I'm going to put Jersey Mike's at the bottom of eights here. I like Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's gives you that deli feeling. They like slice the meat right in front of you. Like Subway over complicated sub sandwiches and Jersey Mike's brought it back home. They simplified it. I like Jersey Mike's. I think it's a little pricey, but the portions are outrageously big. So it justifies its price to an extent. It's not bussin', but it's definitely in the A tier. Definitely right behind Chick-fil-A. Jimmy John's is also a sub place. I'll put Jimmy John's below Jack in the Box. You know what? 
I'm putting Jimmy John's in seats here. I'm realizing now that I didn't enjoy it that much. I enjoyed it more than the Philly steaks though, and I definitely enjoyed it more than Dairy Queen. I'll put it in the top of seats here. I don't think it belongs in B tier anymore. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, so my wife is Filipina. Jollibee is a Filipino fast food restaurant, and Jollibee has a very special place in both of our hearts. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. I put Jollibee in the middle of B tier. So what you get at Jollibee, everything is served with rice. Their fried chicken is so good. They got the sweet spaghetti. If you know what sweet spaghetti is, you know. You either know or you don't, okay? The chicken is delicious. You go there for breakfast. Their breakfast is good. They got the corned beef. It's a Filipino's dream. Yeah, I think Jollibee is pretty great. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Trash. KFC is trash. Don't even pretend, dude. Their chicken is greasy, dude. You ever get like a bucket of chicken and it's dripping grease? Like it starts off like a white bottom and then out of nowhere there's a puddle in the bottom? Disgusting. Popeyes just does KFC's job better. Long John Silver's, I've actually never been, and I don't think I ever will. But I heard it's just like fried fish. McDonald's. McDonald's is A tier. Easy A tier. And I'll give you two words. Chicken McNuggets. I'll give you three words. The French fries. Look, man, you get McNuggies with the sweet and sour sauce, buffalo sauce, and french fries cost me 10 bucks for that whole thing. I'm sorry, McDonald's is delicious. The Big Mac I had the other day, they made it better. They did it. Those crazy mofos, they did it. It's so bad for you, but like, my lord, it's good. Get out of my face! McDonald's haters, you make haters! Get out of here! That's all I'm gonna say. Mod Pizza is like Blaze Pizza. That's all I have to say about it. It's Blaze Pizza. Never heard of Moe's and probably never will. Mathos Famous? What is this? Athos Famous? I have no idea what that is. Panda Express. I think it's like top of beats here. Panda Express is just simple, easy, Chinese food. Their orange chicken, pretty damn good. The chow mein on the side, their portions are really good. Yeah. Panera bread, they serve pretty good clam chowder bowls that I do enjoy. Uh, I don't crave it ever though. It's better than Jimmy John's though. I'll put a top of seats here. Popeyes. Popeyes is so good. Their uh, customer service, atrocious. Go to any Popeyes, they're gonna yell at you. They're gonna make you feel like crap. Dude, one time my buddy Dom, he went to Popeyes to pick up an online order. He ordered like two chicken sandwiches, walked out. He only had one chicken sandwich in the bag, right? Any the restaurant you go back in and tell them like hey i'm missing part of my order they'll be like so sorry sir they'll give you that order they told him to his face you're lying. You're hiding the other one. <laughs> They're so terrible. They're the worst customer service. But the food, well worth it. I'm a big fan of Popeyes. I think Popeyes does everything KFC wants to do. Hot bell. I don't know what that is. Pretzel. Pret. I always see it's pret. I have no idea. What is this? Just O O I C. No idea what this is. Quiznos, baby. Better than Firehouse Subs, but worse than Burger King. Yeah, it's overpriced Subway. Say no to Quiznos. Roy Rogers. I've never been. Sorry to all the Roy Rogers fans out there. I've never been. Sabaro. It's just an instant pizza spot. I'm putting it at the bottom of C because sometimes you just want a slice of pizza that's quick and simple, but it's not my go-to pizza spot. I feel like Sabaro's only exist at malls, so I associate it with like malls experience. It's not that great. Anyway, this is Shake Shack. I hate Shake Shack with a passion. I'm putting Shake Shack in trash tier. Let me explain. Shake Shack costs you like $15 for a meal. That is arguably worse than McDonald's in terms of the flavor. Shake Shack is literally the most overrated fast food joint in the entire world. The food isn't bad, but for the hype level that it gets, you walk out dissatisfied every time. Smashburger though. Smashburger is pretty good. Smashburger makes Smashburgers, which is a very thin burger, man. I can't explain it. It's delicious. It's good. Sonic. <sighs> Sorry. Sonic's in trash. Sonic sells pretty mediocre burgers and they're known for like their drinks, like their shakes and stuff. And I had a shake and I was just like, that's it? I drove like an hour for this? What is the big appeal behind Sonic's? I don't know why Starbucks is on here. Me and my wife get breakfast here a lot because sometimes it's quick and on the go. And plus she loves her coffee. Uh, Starbucks is B tier. Starbucks has this really good breakfast sandwich. It's like a ham, Swiss egg thing. It's pretty good. I'm not even a coffee drinker and I think their coffee is pretty good. But Starbucks overall is a little bit disappointing. I don't know why it's on this tier list, to be honest. This is a fast food tier list, sir. Like, get out of here. But let's be real. Starbucks isn't bad. Steak and Shake. I've been to Steak and Shake twice. Steak and Shake is whack. Top of seats here. Steak and Shake. A little pricey for my burger. The burger was okay. The fries are good. The shake was good. It was like a very mediocre experience overall, you know? There's not many of them. Uh, what the hell is this? Stewart? Never even heard of this. Stewart? Ah, Subway. So I know a lot of you guys were expecting me to hate on Subway, but I kind of love Subway for different reasons. 
reasons. It's very nostalgic for me. Putting Subway at the top of B tier. I like Subway, so sue me. I like Subway, okay, sue me. I like Subway. I get the spicy Italian, you know? I like Subway. So what if the bread isn't technically bread? So what if the meat isn't technically meat? So what if everything is expired? I don't care, dude. It costs like $5 a foot long. Well, not anymore, but you know what I'm talking about? I got the coupon where I can get a foot long with the side of chips and a drink for like free. Get out of my way, dude. Subway is my jam, okay? Taco Bell is overrated because a lot of people never actually had Mexican food in their life, but I get why people like it. It's quick, it's simple, it does the job. Taco Bell, bottom of beats here for me. It's not bad, but if you tell me, if you tell me to my face, your favorite Mexican restaurant is Taco Bell, it tells me a lot about you. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. What is this? Whore? Hordens? I never heard of Hordens. Sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Wendy's. Wendy's is beats here. Their square shaped patties do throw me off a little bit. Oh, Wendy's nuts fit in your mouth? Ha ha ha. Wendy's is very okay. If it wasn't for the fact that their Twitter game is on point, nobody would care about Wendy's. Let's be 100% honest with you guys. Wendy's makes okay burgers, better than a lot of the C tier stuff, but it doesn't justify how funny their Twitter game was, you know? Whataburger is the Midwestern in and out, which is weird to compare it. Let me explain what Whataburger is to those of you that don't know. Whataburger is a very solid burger joint with a ton of variety. So where In-N-Out excels in the lack of variety, Whataburger on the other hand has a very vast menu, different types of bread options. You can get your burger on Texas toast, which is what my buddy Doe does. Like there's a bunch of different options, billion different toppings. It's literally what Five Guys wishes it could be. So I do think Whataburger is pretty good, but I didn't walk away craving more Whataburger after I ate it. So I'll put it at the top of eight tier. I think at the top of eight tier is pretty solid. White Castle is trash. They make sliders. I've been there twice now. The first time I thought I was just like a fluke, but like White Castle it makes pretty meh burgers, my dude. I don't even know what to say about White Castle. Wingstop, Wingstop gives me mad gas. I'm putting Wingstop over here, top of Baja Fresh. I like getting myself some mango habanero wings, boneless preferred. Their fries are so good, but I always feel like absolute garbage after eating it. Like when I'm eating it, it's like a great feeling. I'm like super happy. Afterwards, my stomach hurts and my poops hurt and it's a terrible feeling, dude. That's basically it. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Uh, and Zaxby's, I've never been to Zaxby's, but everyone tells me it's really good and I really wanna go there, okay? I've heard only good things about Zaxby's. That is it. That is my fast food tier list. Number one being In-N-Out, because I love In-N-Out. I'm biased, I have In-N-Out shirts galore. Bottom of the tier list being Arby's. Uh, sorry for all the fans of Bojangles, Boston Market, Checkers, Cookout, all these other stuff. I don't know what you are, I haven't been there, I'm sorry. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below. If you disagree, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Let me know, I read the comments. Comments. I hear what you say and it hurts my soul. Anyway, that's it. Love you guys. Peace out, guys.